tough guy to replace. Is is Shai Smith's skill set maybe the, the the closest to being able to do some of the things that you're going to miss out of Debo this year, as far as on this team? I mean, uh, I mean, Debo, like I say, it's kind of hard to c compare him to anybody. You know, Shai is kind of he he does some things that Debo can do, but they're kind of two different people, honestly. You know, the only way we can kind of replace his for production is just it's going to take a group effort. You know, not one guy can be that Debo Samuel role. Coach Muschamp just said a few minutes ago that this is the he thought this was the best offseason, the best summer that he's had since he's been anywhere, Florida or here. What, what have you seen? How do you agree, do you agree with that? And what what maybe made it so good this year? Of course, I mean I agree with it. And you know the thing that made it one of our best summers is you know we came we came closer as a team, a tight a tighter unit. Um, obviously it was difficult. You know one of the hardest offseason training programs I've been through since I've been here. And you know I just feel you could just see the 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 improvement in our numbers and how we feel. Everybody feels faster, bigger, and stronger. What's it like for you being the old savvy veteran in that receiver room now? You've, you're the guy that's been through all the wars, been through the ropes. And I mean, I feel good. I feel confident in everything I'm doing. You know, my confidence is at an all-time high right now, and I just feel like I'm ready to go. You know, and I'm just passing down the things I know to the younger guys and helping them get acquainted and make sure they're ready to go. Yeah, going here. Uh, can you talk about, you've had a great career, but Debo's always been here. Now this is the Brian Edwards show. Are you looking forward to maybe showing, showcasing what you can do now? I mean, I'm looking forward to just playing football in general. You know, I always, I, like I said, I always saw myself as a number one, kind of a 1A, 1B with Debo was here. And even when Debo went down with the ankle injury, you know, I got a chance to kind of step into that role at, at an early age. So, I mean, it's another day at work for me. Like I said, I come to work every day and just put the work in. I know, and I know it's gonna be everything gonna be okay. Just like you said, you put the work in. You've quietly climbed up all the records. Have you thought about that? You've got a chance to be an uh, all-time leader in a lot of categories yeah. as far as receiver. It, you know, obviously, it's something you think about. You know, anytime you can put your name in the record books and get your name on the stadium and things like that. So you know, I'm excited for it. But I know the only way I can accomplish it is if I go out there and you know I do my job and I buy in the, the plan for me. What's the most important thing you want people to know about Brian Edwards? Um, just that I come to work every day. You know, the guy you see on Saturdays, you know, is the, is the guy you see Monday through Friday. You know, I come here, I work hard. You know, I'm here every day, and, you know, I try to be a leader. And last question, when, when Shia Smith is away from the media, does he ever talk then? Uh, yeah, Shia talks a lot, but he's, he's not a very – he's he shy? He, yeah, he's not an out there kind of guy, you know. You gotta, you gotta really know him for him to really open up to you. You know, he's a, he's a good guy. Thank you. No problem. Do you enjoy kind of having this increased spotlight on you? Like he just mentioned, with no Debo here, you're on the verge of some pretty big career records. Are you kind of enjoying uh, that a lot of people are, are talking about you? Uh, I mean, I don't really care, honestly. You know, the, the, the notoriety and the media attention, you know, it's not that big of a deal. All, the only thing that really matters to me is the production and, and winning games and, you know, just enjoying this time with my teammates. You had a chance to go to the NFL. Now that you've been through the whole summer getting ready for another camp, another semester of school, any regrets, any, any second thoughts? I feel like I made the best decision for me. You know, obviously I feel like I had a lot, I had a lot left on the table here at South Carolina and I wanted to come back here and, you know, prove myself and, you know, just help my team win. That was my, that was my main goal for this season is to win. What are your thoughts on so much outside focus being on your schedule this year? And people talk about it being a top 10 hardest in the country and, and maybe the hardest arguably in the country. I mean, I don't want it any other way, honestly. You know, I don't want it to be easy. You know, anything worth getting, it's not going to be easy. So, you know, obviously it's a big opportunity for us to showcase our talents and, you know, just see where we're at. You know, you want to play a national schedule. That's what you come, for the, come to the SEC for. How much has the talent level on this team changed since you enrolled here as a freshman? Uh, it's a night and day difference. You know, it used to be kind of we had one guy kind of at every position. Maybe if he got hurt, you know, somebody was just kind of thrown into the fire early. But, you know, all DJ Wanhams and the me, TJ Brunsons, all those guys of that first class, you know, you can kind of tell, like, we have two or three guys behind us now. The competitive depth on our team, you know, it's a lot better now.